Hey there guys, welcome back to Hemant Tech Universe. Today we are going to look at how to recover a deleted object in Amazon S3 bucket. We will also be looking at how to maintain versions in S3 bucket. Let's do that. First, I already uploaded an object over here. So I'm selecting that. Let's just say I'm deleting this object and it will ask you, do you want to delete it? All you have to do is just confirm the delete objects. Okay, now this is done. Now go back again. You can, as you can see, there are no objects over here, but I want to record that particular object. One of the features of S3 buckets is that the objects like the deleted objects are recoverable. So let's see how to do that. All you have to do is come here and click on show versions. As you can see, you can look at the two objects over here. These are two not our exactly object. One is our object and one is the marker object that it was created while the object was created as you can see there is no size for that particular object so to recover this particular object that we have deleted all you have to do is delete this particular delete marker come here delete okay and type permanently delete over here now as soon as you delete that your object will be recovered for you as you can see the object that you have deleted is recovered for you so as you can see, I, there is already one object over here. So now let's upload the same object again. As you can see, this is the object data that I have uploaded the first one. So I'm just removing this and adding something over here. Something like this one, it's success, okay? Now I'm saving this file and we will try to upload this same file. Like come here, we are going to add files and select the script one that we have made changes. As you can see, only success is there. Now open this, okay? We'll be having the same file name, okay? Let's do not change it because we are trying to maintain versions for the same particular object. Now come back again. As you can see, it has been uploaded, but as you can see, the size is different over here for this one. Before it was 3.2 KB, before that was 4 KB, right? Now once you click on show versions again, now you will see that, as you can see, this particular text is a different one and this particular text is a different one. Now to confirm, let's download this particular object and let's see, or else we can simply open this. Okay. As you can see, this particular object has this data, right? Now let's look at the particular object that we have uploaded just now and look at what data is there in that. As you can see, there is nothing in here, just success. That's the only thing that is there in here. So that's how you maintain different versions of your objects in Amazon S3 bucket. And at the same time, you can delete and recover them whenever you want. But remember, once you delete the marker and recover that object, and once again, if you delete that, it will be gone forever. I'll show you. This is the one that we have deleted before. Let's click on here. As you can see, this time it is showing as permanently delete. That means it is permanently delete object. That means this object is, it will be deleted permanently and it is not recoverable. Delete this object. Now, as you can see, that object will not be shown here anymore. So that's how you do it. That's how you maintain your versions and delete your objects and recover the particular objects that you have deleted in Amazon S3 bucket. Hope you find this video helpful. If so, like, comment, share and subscribe for more content like this and share this video amongst your friends and colleagues who want to know about this. Thank you.